Rosalie graduated with a degree in medical technology but did not take the licensure exam. She married early. A mother to three boys, she left for Singapore in 1987 to work as a nanny. She later moved to Canada as a sitter, but Rosalie, with her go-getter attitude, completed a diploma course in marketing in one of the schools in Canada. She worked during the day and went to school at night. In 1992, she became a marketing executive in a construction firm in Singapore. All was doing well when tragedy struck. Her husband died. She came back to the Philippines in 1999 to take care of her three sons. Though uninitiated in the field of farming, she invested all her life savings in a 1.3 hectare piece of agricultural land in San Jacinto, Pangasinan, her hometown. Unknown to her that time, this investment would serve as her passport, literally, to other parts of the world as an esteemed speaker on biotechnology. Develop ko yung ano yung nawala yung fright to say states o kaya nawala yung pagiging conservative ko nagiging very open ako, nagiging vocal ako. So uh, abroad is a good thing naman na nakatulong sa kagaya ko. After attending a technical farming seminar in 2002, she was impressed with how biotechnology could result to a higher yield production and healthier corn produce. She volunteered her farm to become a demo field on BT corn production, a technologically aided corn production which makes the crop resistant to Asiatic corn borer, a destructive kind of pest. After the success of her field demo, she became an advocate of biotechnology. Her success in BT corn production was recognized worldwide. She was also the first ever recipient of the Kleckner Trade and Technology Advancement Award World Food Prize in 2007 in Iowa, besting 20 other participants from all over the world. On my own, yung, yung ano ko, yung yung journey ko to hanggang ngayon sa sarili kong sikap ko and ang nagbigay sa akin ng pagganito is sa OFW. Despite her success in life, Rosalie acknowledges the fact that having worked in other countries has helped her considerably. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Rosalie Eliasos, our notable Pinoy for science and technology.